uh, publicly known as Florida and D3M Licensing Group LLC plaintiffs versus Celsius Holdings Inc. Verdict, we the jury find as follows. Count one, breach of 2014 agreement, bonus compensation provision, 250,000 shares. Question one, did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius breached the 2014 agreement by establishing that Celsius achieved $1 million in gross cumulative co-branded revenues in any 12-month period during the term? Yes. Welcome back. If it ain't about the money. Of the $82 million for Flow Rider and Associates verdict. And in friends, this They're worth billions. They probably should have settled out of court. Well, here you go. Question three. Did the plaintiffs prove that the term of the 2014 agreement was extended by the 2016 agreement? Yes. Question four. Did the defendant prove that the plaintiffs waived their right to compensation from Celsius under this provision of the 2014 agreement? No. Question five. Did the defendant prove that the breach of this provision of the 2014 agreement occurred before May 4th, 2016? Yes. Question six. Did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius fraudulently concealed information relating to the breach of this provision? Yes. Question seven, did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius is equitably stopped from asserting the statute of limitations defense to the breach of this provision? Yes. Question eight, what are the plaintiff's damages as a result of the breach of this provision? $27,545,000 in friends, 250,000 shares at $110.18. Question nine, uh, this is count one, breach of the 2014 agreement, incentive compensation provision, 500,000 shares. Question nine, did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius breached the 2014 agreement by establishing that Celsius sold a total of 690,000 units of co-branded product through its channels of distribution following the execution of this agreement? Yes. Question 10. On what date did Celsius breach this provision of the 2014 agreement? April 30th, 2021. In friends, this provision was reached on February 2015. Close friend. Question 11. Did the plaintiffs prove that with respect to units of co-branded product, an individual stick counts as a unit? Yes. Question 12. Did the defendant prove that the plaintiffs waived their right to compensation from Celsius under this provision of the 2014 agreement? No. Question 13. Did the defendant prove that the breach of the 2014 agreement occurred before May 4th, 2016? Yes. Question 14. Did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius fraudulently concealed information relating to the breach of this provision? Yes. Question 15. Did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius is equitably a stop from asserting the statute of limitations defense to the breach of this provision? Yes. Question 16. What are the plaintiffs' damages as a result of the breach of this provision? 55 million and 90,000. That's 500,000 shares at $110.18. Count two, breach of the 2016 agreement. Question 17, did the plaintiffs prove that Celsius breached the 2016 agreement? 82 million. Welcome back. Ben Wheeler. $82 million will be awarded to Question Flow Rider because if your paperwork ain't right, right, then the money ain't right. And this man kept his paperwork proper. Celsius tried it. Try again. Question 19. I would say bankruptcy, but they got $8.4 billion. They should, they should have settled out of court quickly, swiftly, and quietly. If you guys want to like, like comment, subscribe at the bottom down there, and I'll be back with another video. Lego. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. All right. Let me ask, is it your verdict? Yes. Is it your verdict? Yes. Is this your verdict? Yes.
Is this your true verdict? Yes. Is this your true verdict? And, uh, is this your true verdict? Yes, sir.